What's up you guys, it's your girl Lovely and I am back with another video. You see the thumbnail and the title. I am back to give you guys another balloon garland tutorial. I'm hosting some friends tonight so I want to create like a nice little backdrop for us to take pictures and stuff like that. And I've decided to turn it into a tutorial so you guys could learn a thing or two. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and leave me your feedback down in the comment section below. But before we get into the tutorial, I wanna take this moment to give a big shout out to the sponsor for today's video. Shout out to Timu for sponsoring this portion of today's video. As some of you know, I just moved into my new home and along with decorating, having all my home essentials are at the top of my list. Here are some of the kitchen essential items that I received from Timu. Everything is of great quality and I was really surprised because of the prices. I'm super excited to make another order so I can decorate my living room. If you guys aren't familiar with Timu, they are a marketplace where you can find any and everything you would usually need on a daily basis, like kitchen essentials, home decor, health and beauty products, balloon supplies, event decor items, clothing for men and women. And if you're into organization like me, they have plenty of options for you. I especially love their organization products. They have been keeping me in line for sure. All of the items you see on the screen are from Timu and everything I chose arrive in perfect shape. Timu is able to offer some of the best products for a reasonable price you can't find elsewhere. To shop some of these items, you can download the Timu app on your Android or iOS devices. If you download the app today and use my coupon code, you will receive $100 in coupons to use on the app. I will have the coupon code displayed on the screen and also in my description box where you will also find the direct links. I love that Timu offers free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. They also offer buy now and pay later options like your Klarna and Afterpay and stuff like that. Download and check out Timu today and let me know how your experience went. Thank you to Timo again for sponsoring this portion of today's video, but without further ado, let's just jump straight into today's tutorial. And I found these plates, so I've decided to just go with the colors that's in the plate. I'm gonna be using orange, goldenrod, gray, and black, so it all comes together and looks like, you know, one theme. So the colors I'm going to be using today, they're all from Qualitex. So I have black and Qualitex, orange, goldenrod, and also gray. I do not have five inch for all of the colors, so I'm going to be like making five inch out of the sizes that I have, which are 11 inches and 16 inches. For the orange and the black, I definitely have five inches, but for the goldenrod and the gray, I only have 11 and 16 inches. So whenever I inflate my balloons, they have this cone shape and we don't want that. So in order to get rid of the cone shape and get a more round look, I'm going to be pushing on the balloon while releasing some air from it. So now we have a more round shape. And when I'm tying my pairs together, I like when one of my balloon is smaller than the other. So I'm gonna let some more air out of this one. And now I have two different sizes. This is important when creating organic balloon garlands. I have a hole in it. Now that I have all three piers, I'm going to be putting them together to create my cluster of six. Just wrapping it three to four times. Now I'm gonna add my last pier to the quad. And there I have my balloon 
cluster. So I'm gonna go off camera, create the rest of my clusters, and then come back and show you guys how I make my balloon garland. Right, so I have all of my clusters inflated over here. I have more black clusters than all the other colors because I think I wanna use black as my main color. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I create my balloon garlands. So I'm just going to be tying these clusters together by the neck. I'm just going to use one neck, one of the stretchiest neck from each cluster like this and just tie it onto my other cluster. And when I tie it, it should have a knot like that. And that is what I'm going to be doing to create my whole garland. You guys, so I'm going to use this as my base garland. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the backdrop. I am going to be using these clear hooks that I also got from Timu. You can find the link for these in my description box below. I'm just going to be tying a 260 onto it and then putting it on my backdrop. So this is how I tie my 260 onto the hook. I have a hoop right here and this is I have a hoop right here and this is what I'm going to be putting around my balloon in order for it to like stay in place. Just take the back off. And I'm going to be I'm going to be attaching it to the back of my backdrop. I don't want too many balloons to the front, which is one of the reason why I put my attachment in the back of my arch backdrops all the time because I don't need it taken over like the front of the backdrop or covering whatever sign I'm using. I want the balloons up here to go like more towards the back because I do not need it like to take over the front of my backdrop or cover up my signage. So I'm gonna put it in place right here and then use the hoop on, and use the balloon hoop to just wrap it around my first set of balloons. Whoa. And I'm going to do the same for these. And now my garland is attached to the backdrop. For the bottom, I want to use the same method I used in my last video. So I have, I have a water balloon right here and I'm going to attach it to this cluster. I'm just tying it in. So I'm gonna go in and tie in this cluster to the bottom of the garland. I stretched it all the way to the side so that is where I need the flow to stop so now I have a little space right here and I'm going to be taking clusters to fill in this spot right here and make it like wider okay guys so I'm going to go in with the rest of my clusters and start bringing it around I am still trying to figure out if I want to take the garland all the way around 
or just leave it in the middle and just put something on this end i'm still thinking about it but for now i'm just going to be taking my extra clusters and tying them in using the neck of a balloon Since I, I'm at the middle of the garland, I do have an attachment right here. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it to this cluster just to keep it in place. now that I have my base on the backdrop I'm going to go in with some extra clusters and like you know plump up some of these clusters so for instance I have some extra orange to add to this orange cluster right here because it, it doesn't look that full so I'm just gonna go in and add some more to it and also for all of the black parts and then I'm going to show you guys how I do the bottom of the garland So I really want to show you how I make the bottom of my garlands fuller and it's basically just taking a bunch of clusters and um, adding it until you get to your desired look but also making sure that wherever you're adding the cluster it makes sense so right now there's a space right here so that is the first place I'll be attaching my cluster I have my 260 balloon attached to the cluster and I'm going to wrap it around this gray balloon. So now I have that um, space covered up. I think I like it how it is right now so I'm gonna go in with some five inch fillers and then I have some um, bats that I cut out on the Cricut and I'm going to use it to 
put it all over the garland and you know bring it all together so I have some five inch fillers that I'm going to be attaching on the garland using rubber bands and if you guys do not have rubber bands then you can use your 260 balloons to attach it and this is how it looks when you use the 260s to attach the balloon fillers you just add a cluster on each end of the 260 balloon for the rubber band method you just take your rubber band and I like to give it a little pull just to stretch it and then I put it around the cluster like that and then this is the and then this hoop is what I put around the balloons guys so if you like to see how the backdrop turn out make sure that you stay to the end of this video where I'll be posting videos and pictures of the full thing also the setup that I'll be doing for my guests if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel already go ahead hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and also leave me your feedback down in the comment section below if you think I missed anything if you think the backdrop turned out cute if you guys learned anything, I want to know it all in the comment section below. Be sure to check out Timu. The direct link to the app will be in my description box down below as well as the code that you guys can use to get $100 worth of coupon to use on the Timu app that you can download on your Android or iOS devices. But that is all folks. Thank you all for watching today's video and I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. Bye! And whenever I'm tying my pairs together, I love when one of my balloons are larger. I love when one of my balloons larger than the other one. Did I say that right? What did you say? The Jamaican and me cannot say that. This, this thing is like so high right now. Ooh. Okay, makeup. <laughs> okay. Huh? What? What? Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to change it. Sunny, hey, I'm trying to close out, ma'am. Give me two minutes. Okay. Shit, I need a letter.
So now that I have my, oh my God. I just hear one. Okay. I just heard one deflating. <laughs> okay, you guys, so now that I have the base, Sunny, Sunny, hey. Babe, can you make her go in a cage, please? Okay. Link to the website, not website, it's an app. 